Last time we laid out our puzzle buttons in our puzzle field. Now what we are going to do is we are going to add functionality to our buttons and change their background image. First, create a new script and name it game controller and attach it here on our game controller. And now double click it, some other develop will open it. What we need to do is we need to get a reference to all of our buttons in our scene. For that, first we need to type here unityengine.ui. And next, we also need to type using system.generic or system.collections.generic because we need to use lists in order to get our buttons. And a list is like an array, but a list is dynamic. Array is not resizable, so when we set the size for an array, it cannot have less elements or more, more elements than we specified. But a list is dynamic. We can add elements, remove elements, so on and so forth. So here I'm going to create a public list and list is a generic type so we can specify here using these less than and greater than sign so we can specify a name of an object that we want to store. In our case we want to store a button and I'm going to name this btns is equal to new list and this is how we create a list. Now here I'm going to create a function void get buttons. Now, in order to get our buttons, and if you watched my tutorial about, well, our guess the game number, you know that we can use get component and, well, use or use game object dot find, excuse me, in order to get our button. So here I'm going to say game object array, and I'm going to say object is equal to game object dot find, and we need to specify, well, game objects. But we know that we need to pass a name. So here we type find and after that we specify the name of the game object that we want to find. But if we run the game now we see, so let me, so let me just type it right. So we need to remove this because this is an error. I'm trying to use an array to get a game object which is not going to work. Anyway, if we run the game now we see that our numbers are named 0, 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. What we can do is we can use our prefab which is our puzzle button and we can create a tag for it. So we can go here under tags and click on add tag. So simply click add tag and click on this plus sign and I'm going to name this tag puzzle button. And now select our button and tag it with this tag. So simply type puzzle button right like this. And now if I run the game each of our buttons that we have here it's going to have this puzzle button tag. So now what we can do is we can go here and return this array and now we can say game objects dot find game objects with tag. So make sure it's game objects not game object and now we can here simply type puzzle button and this is well practically how can we get our buttons. This is going to get all of our buttons all, or all the game objects that have this puzzle button tag, which we saw earlier. But now we need to get the buttons and store them here in the list. Here we only are getting the game objects which have that tag. So here what I can do, I can say for int i is equal to zero, as long as i is less than objects.length, so objects.length, I can increment i, and what I can do is I can use my buttons which is our list and I can say add and this is going to add a new button or new element and here I can simply say objects so objects and pass our index i and I can say get component and here we need to pass a button because a button is a component attached on our game object the button itself is not a game object but it is a component so if we I select this game object it has this button script which is the component and that is what we want. Now in order for this to work we need to call this here in our awake function and now I will demonstrate to you and I have left this well field here on purposely to be public just in order to demonstrate to you how this works. So if I select my game controller here we have our buttons list. If I run the game now we are see we are going to see how our list is going to populate. So let me just check what is wrong with the script here. So here I'm getting all of the game objects with the tag. So what's wrong? 
so here I have attached this we are getting puzzle button with the tag so here puzzle button for int i objects that length buttons add and I'm using get component so what's wrong here oh now I get it what the problem is it's because we are adding here our buttons in the awake function and we are also trying to get our buttons in the awake function what we need to do is we need to say here start function because this is going to be called in the wake function laying out our buttons and in the start function we can get our buttons so now if I go back and select my game controller and notice here for the button size if I press start we see that we have the references to all of our buttons from 0 or that is from 0 up to 7 now what we are going to do is we are going to change the background images for our buttons in order to change the background images for our buttons what we need to do is we need to go back here in our unity editor and create a new folder which i'm going to name sprites so sprites and we need to import our assets and i'm going to import my buttons and my candy buttons so these two and i'm also going to click here override for android just to well set here to true color and this is also my habit this is not important but I'm used to do this and I cannot go without it so I'm sorry for that so let me just type all of this here and when we begin to create our Android games or create games where I need to explain all of this I will explain into more detail but practically here what we are doing and I will just go briefly through it here we are setting the max size for our sprite which is going to determine the graphics quality and also here I'm setting to true color and that's, that's the best quality for our sprite in our game and also I'm unchecking this generate mip maps because this is generally for 3D and now I'm setting here to multiple because this is a sprite sheet and now I can click on the sprite editor and I can slice all of these now what I need is only this one and I'm going to name it background so background image and I'm going to hit apply and also here for our candy buttons I need to slice them so slice and hit apply so we have sliced our buttons and we can well now use them as individual parts now in order to well set the background image what we are going to do is here I'm going to type a serialized private field and this is going to be so let me just type private and this is going to be my sprite and I'm going to name it BG image and this is going to be the background image for our buttons if I go now in the unity editor and select my game controller I have our background image which is this one right here I can click on this circle and I can search for an image so here I have the background image and I can select that image to be the image while well, a reference that we are going to have to and I can also do it like this I can select my well, game controller and drag and drop our image here which is going to be the same thing and now in order to change the background images of our buttons what I'm going to do is here I'm going to simply say I'm going to use our BTNs and also going to pass the index I for our buttons and I'm going to say dot image dot sprite is equal to our BG image now we need to write this line of code after we add our buttons so practically we are adding the buttons and then we are using the same index to access the same button that we add here so the same button that we add here using get component we are accessing right here and accessing the image of that button the sprite of that image setting it to be our background image so now if I run this so if I go back here and run the application we are going to see that our buttons are going to have these background images in the next video we are going to see how can we interact with our buttons because at the moment if I touch the button nothing happens so in the next video we are going to see how to interact with our buttons if you like what you see subscribe to the channel share like comment follow me on social media and I will see you in the next video.